Welcome back to my channel. This video will show you how to make pounded yam using yam flour. This was requested by one of you. I hope you like it. Let's head on to the video. To make pounded yam using your um, yam flour, these are what you need. You need some water. You need turning stick. I prefer to use this one because they are like the same thickness all through. But if you don't have this, you can use this one. But like I said, for beginners, I'll advise that you find something like this that has equal thickness all around. You need the flour, of course. And then you need your measuring scale if you have it. But if you don't have it, I'll show you which way you can measure out your flour. Normally, if you're used to making this by now, you should be able to kind of eyeball the quantity that you're going to be needing. So usually what I do is I just go ahead and put water into the pot and then I start putting in my flour and mixing. But since I'm going to be teaching you as someone that doesn't know it at all, I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with some flour and it will be the equal amount of this. Go ahead and level it out. So this is one. This is 400 gram. So the reason why I like using the scale if you're just starting is that you have a consistent me measurement every time you do this if you use the scale versus if I do the first method whereby I just pour in the flour and level it out. With this you have a consistent uh, measurement every time you make it and that's the way I'm going to advise you to go at first if you're learning it. And then now we're going to go off to the stove and start making it since we measured out one of this we're going to measure two of this of water pour it into the pot so remember the ratio is one to two flour to water cover that up and then bring this to a rolling boil so while that water is boiling i've gone ahead to prep all the things i'm going to be needing because this um process when you're going to be adding your flour to the water is a very fast process and you really do not want to give it that space for your pounded yam to become lumpy or to become very hard so with this way you have everything ready and set for you to start making the pounded yam when the water boils so into this place i just added some a bit of more water into it and then this is the toilet stick that i told you about and i forgot to show you this but this is a little scraper that i'll use to scrape around the pot you see that you see me using that in a moment and then this is where we're going to put in our pounded yam when it's ready so what i do is i just go ahead and you know use a plastic wrap like this on top of it So what this would do is that it's going to prevent your pounded yam from sticking to your plate and also it to give it that ease of molding. I'll show you that in a minute as well. Our water has come to a rolling boil like this. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce my heat 
to the lowest setting. This is what I do. Process. Sometimes what I like to do is that I like to take a bit of the water and set aside here. So what you want to be doing at this point is you want to add your flour into this water and mix as fast as possible. That way you prevent lump. So you just sprinkle and go sprinkle. You see how I'm sprinkling, but I'm rolling at the same time. Sprinkle, I'm rolling at the same time. See? So keep going. Keep going with that motion like that. It will start to thicken in a bit. You see? So right now it's thickened and then you stir as fast as possible. And you need if you do not put your it level down to the lowest setting what you might get is that when your flour is getting into the water it it's gonna get lumpy before you even start staying properly so keep staring like that and knead to the side See? I don't know if you're seeing the motion, but I hope you get the idea. See how smooth it's becoming. So I'm going to go ahead, dip this in the water, scrape it down. You have to dip in water that prevents sticking stickiness now remember our stove is still on low setting so by the time you finish scraping this what I like to do it's pretty soft but this is an extra step I just add some water so at this stage this is where the water comes in handy if you find out that your pounded yam is very hard you had more water if you find out that it's soft as you want it you just had a bit of water around so, like so Then I'll crank up my heat again to about number two, you know, slow to moderate heat, and then go ahead and cover this up and allow it to kind of simmer at the same time cook more i don't know if that makes sense but that's just how i prefer it i don't just go ahead and scrape this side and start serving i like to do this extra step and make sure that the flour is well cooked and not raw so we'll leave that to simmer for a little while like maybe three to five minutes it depends you're going to see it when you start doing that check to see you see that it starts to simmer all around and let it you know cook a little bit more now after about you know two to three minutes i'm okay with whatever donuts i have so this water that i added in part is going to smoothen my dough and make it more supple so go ahead and mix that in Again, lower the heat to low before doing this. See, it's starting to smoothen. Mm. 
you mix until all the water is well incorporated into it done take it from here and then flip it around like so that's the motion you need make sure you're getting every part of it take it from here and flip it around going to do the seven right now pounded yam is best served warm or hot so like I said take a part of it this in water if it's getting sticky dip it in water mold it at Cheryl Moore I hope this is well detailed for you and it helps you out please kindly let me know if you have any other question as to how to make this bounded yam using yam flour there you have it. <laughs> 